Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how we can use ADA.NET with API uh, uh, with AP, web API to find records by ID, uh, by parameters, by column value, by multiple column values uh, using uh, ASP.NET Core. Okay, so let me just show you the uh, methods, the uh, action methods which we, which, uh, we are going to uh, use uh, before doing anything let me give you a glimpse of the program how it looks like uh, this is in continuation to the previous project uh, find by id uh, if you are aware of uh, uh, i would uh, suggest that you go through that one so you can uh, have a good idea of what all things we did in the past and how we are continuing that one uh, for people who are uh, seeing this for the first time I will give you a brief explanation of what we did. So this is generally a new project, Web API. And uh, yes, it's a Web API project. And uh, 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 you have to select the .NET Core 6. And uh, HTTPS is not done. If you want to do HTTPS, that's good enough. And uh, while you set up the program, uh, you go to App Settings, wherein you mention your connection string here. Uh, after that, uh, you uh, fix up the program.cs like this and post that you need to install the NuGet packages which are like this. I mean, these are the uh, NuGet packages which you need. Uh, you need a class file. Uh, that's the table structure. Okay, so this is the table structure. We need a student table created in SQL <coughs> database. So this is my student's table. And uh, we have a couple of records in the student's table. ID is a ID column with increment uh, value one. Okay, uh, auto-generated column here. Student name, age, and address is there. Okay, without wasting any more time, let's go ahead with the uh, next set of actions. Okay, controller. So you need to add a controller. Uh, that's a web API controller, not a normal controller. That's a web API controller, and it's inheriting the controller class, not the controller base class. Okay. Uh, if you select an API controller, you will see this uh, two line of codes on uh, the top of your uh, program. Uh, configuration, we are initializing the I configuration, which will be linked with uh, the connection string that we have mentioned in the app settings.json and uh, uh, the object that we are creating for that connection. So by default, it's uh, using configuration to match up with that and then uh, using that connection string here. Uh, so. Guys, one more update. In the previous programs, we had used in the index section, we, has, we had used uh, a for loop. I'm sorry, that was actually for, uh, uh, this is an entity framework uh, related uh, query. Okay, this is not uh, related with this program, so we don't need that. That's why I had to uh, comment that set of code. Actually, we don't need that, okay. So if we are using ADO.NET, it's pretty much uh, direct communication with the database. So using a star is just OK. And uh, this much of code is required to uh, fetch records from the database. OK. And finally, we are closing the connection string. OK, now moving ahead to the find by ID. Also, the find by ID is a little bit of changes without that code. So we put in the try catch block wherein we mentioned the connection string inside the try catch block and uh, we are filling the adapter with the data table yes uh, we need some global variables connection string command prompt uh, sorry commands text uh, adapter object and data table object which uh, we are using uh, throughout the program so now if uh, it will see that the data table which we mentioned has any rows then it will move ahead if not then it will say that no records has been found and this is going to fetch records by ID. Uh, once the ID part is over, uh, we will move on to by parameters. Okay, so what we are doing it by parameters, this one is uh, uh, using a column name and a value. Okay, so uh, we will provide the column name and its value, dynamic kind of program. So this is going to uh, fetch select star from the table name where column name equals to the parameter one and value equals to the parameter two and then same set of operations pretty much that is all about uh, parameters now by column value for example i want to figure out uh, when i'm supplying an address 
any records related to that addre address uh, should come up. So this one is going to return me records which uh, match my column value. Now moving ahead, uh, similar kind of thing, but we will provide two parameters to it. Okay, we will uh, provide uh, two values to two columns. Now uh, I'm going to do a few more filtration with the where column, uh, with the where uh, clause. We have two columns in the where clause and we are fetching the values with value one and value two. So this is the same line of code, same set of codes, nothing more, just the query has a change and the parameters have a change. Now the next one, oh yeah, I think that much all. Uh, so let's just try uh, running this application and uh, check if uh, things go well and we get our results as expected. Okay, coming here to the API section. So these are the all this get, get API sections uh, uh, we have put here. Uh, let me just uh, raise the fonts. Okay, I hope you should be able to see this. What did I do? Where I focused, we don't need it. Okay, so these are the APIs that we uh, will be working on. So now let's just try to uh, find out all the records with an execute. Uh, we we got all the records. Okay, so these are all the records that uh, uh, we have. Now moving ahead, let's. Uh, Go ahead to the other one which says find by id now we will supply an id and check uh, if it's giving me the value so uh, we all almost went through the codes uh, so uh, let's not waste time and move ahead further so 1002 oh man source file has changed okay stop it So basically what it's going to do in the meanwhile it loads uh, find by id will catch the id and it will fetch the records with that id if it does not found it will say that not found but if it finds then it will give us the data and if there is any error it will go to the status 500 internal server error okay now move to the next one find by id 1009 i guess 1002 okay we got our record so if we change this to something that is not available say 1055 that's giving me a not found it's moving ahead to the column name with that value uh, so let's say the column is uh, so let's say the column is suppose student name and uh, let's put in a name that's not available not found okay now let's uh, try to find out by name let's say Ahmed got it okay it gave us the details by column and it's okay suppose let's uh, try to find a uh, multiple records by let's say address a d d r e s s wait and address and a b c d All the address with ABCD fetched. Now let's go to find by column value. So this is for single column, okay? Uh, so I guess it's fetching um, column value. Column val. Okay, it's fetching only the address. So let's see. Oops, ABCD. Okay, all address with ABCD. Let's go for another one that is Africa.
all results with Africa. Let's go with multiple column values, OK? So the first column is address, and second one is the age, OK? So let's say A, B, C, D. And the age, suppose uh, more than 25. Yes, the records with 26 age and address ABCD came up. Okay, let's say how many? Two records. Okay, let's say age uh, more than 20. So we got three records now. Okay, initially it was two, now it's three. Okay. All right, so yeah, that much all. That's all. Okay, let me reset. Okay, guys, so that was uh, all the get request values that we went through. Uh, if you want, I'll put the GitHub link on it, the web code link in it. So these were the uh, values that we tried to fetch. And if we uh, if if we want to see the same thing in uh, Postman, let's do a test in Postman as well. And uh, let's clear your doubts on that one. How if it works on Postman or not? And how you send the multiple parameters in Postman using Postman. So I'll just show that to you. OK, guys, now Postman loaded. So API find by multiple column value. So OK, so now can I, I cannot raise the font size here. OK, so uh, you can see that I'm sending a GET request, and it's uh, find by multi-column values. And I'm passing it uh, two values, OK? One is the address, and uh, one is the age. So if I send this, it's going to hit my, and we got the records which are more than 20 years of age. If I make it to more than 25, I should have only two records. See this? That's the difference. Now, uh, the same thing that I'm going to test here for, same thing I'm going to test for, uh, find by column and its value. So let's say. Address multi column value. No. Uh, Link is a different link here. This is by uh, the column name and its value. So for example, we're trying to find the address which has ABCD. So you will have to pass uh, the controller name, the action method, the first value, and the second value. That's the column name and its value. So it's going to show me records of address ABCD. So if I'm going to ask it give me age who have 25 it gave me age 25 and we have only one record okay now so uh, let's say uh, address africa got three records OK, so guys, that was pretty much uh, all for this tutorial. If you want to have a look at this uh, controller actions once more, uh, you can have a peep into it. Uh, any which ways, I'll put this in the GitHub. So it should be all good for you.
moving ahead we would go into the edit part and uh, delete part as well uh, so yeah that's the thing that we are going to cover in the future so okay pretty much that's all for this video uh, thank you for watching thank you for being with me stay connected stay tuned and until the next set of videos keep watching and happy coding thank you